Hello, my name is Steve Horton from Horton & Sons in Birmingham. You may be aware, or most of you will be aware, of the pending lead uh, shot and ammunition ban in the UK. I've heard varying reports of Q4 this year, Q4 next year, so autumn this year, autumn next year. Um, but regardless of when it is, it's already started taking, a, uh, taking place. Um, and what I mean by that is the game dealers um, in the game market are already refusing birds and venison shot with lead because their onward customer refuses to have or buy anything shot with lead. So whether you agree with the lead ban or not, there's nothing we can do about it. It's happening. Um, it's already in place in several countries throughout the, the world, uh, most of Scandinavia, huge parts of Europe and even seven states in the US. Um, now to understand the, the sort of problems that it gives us um, as gun makers, as shooters, um, as um, you know, game farmers, uh, game keepers, etc., is that lead is an absolutely excellent projectile to use in any ammunition. And there, there's several reasons for that. The, the density and the weight of the projectile is such that the the kinetic energy that stays within the projectile stays there for longer right so you can push a projectile uh, a relatively long distance um, the lighter it gets the quicker it drops off um, so that's that's the one thing the second thing is how is it how it deforms upon impact and that allows the kinetic energy built up in that projectile to dump that effectively into the quarry um, and that's what gives it the killing power so that's why lead has been used for god knows how long uh, and why it's been the go-to ammunition for for so long if i focus this video into shotgun shot because if i go into firearms i'll be here all day uh, and you'll fall asleep but if we stick with shotgun shot uh, the alternatives currently in the market are bismuth. Uh, now bismuth shatters. Um, it's, it's what bismuth does. Yes, it's about 10-15% lighter than um, lead, but it shatters. And um, the fact that it shatters causes the issue. And there's a number of game dealers refuse to have things shot with bismuth for that very reason. So you shoot a bird with bismuth. Yes, you may kill it, um, but if it shatters uh, in the bird you in, effectively you're making that that meat inedible because it'd be like eating a sandwich on a beach um, which isn't great um, the other alternative is steel now that's been around for quite a while but the, the technology around the cartridges that use steel as a projectile have improved immensely and the reason they've had to improve is that CIP who in Europe especially put all the legislation into um, proving guns and proving ammunition so if you're going to have a CIP mark on your ammunition and sell it commercially you have to abide by these regulations so they've in, they've changed their um, their legislation if you like into in terms of how cartridges are made up and, and the rules that cartridge manufacturers have to abide by um, anything to do with lead free shot uh, as I say I'm focusing on shotgun cartridges have to abide by four different categories uh, within uh, the CIP regulations or fit into four different categories. Type A is where the projectile is equal to or less than 40 on the Vickers hardness scale. So that's the first thing. If it fits into that category, it can be loaded like any lead cartridge, so fiber wide, for example. Um, B and C are all sense and purposes steel so anything fits into B and C have to have a protective film either on the shot itself to reduce the friction um, and impact of the shot on the barrel or what a lot of shotgun manufacturers are doing recently is in improving and innovating their wad technology a lot of them are going towards something that's shaped like a, um, a cylinder so if you ex 
if I use this glass as a, um, a bit of a crude example and the water within it being steel so as I said before lead deforms it's malleable um, and therefore it's, and it's softer than the barrel that you're pushing it down so it's not going to damage your barrel steel isn't soft as most of you will know so you have to protect the barrel so imagine the glass being the wad that's in the cartridge that you're shooting and the water in it is the steel shot um, because that's that can't be compressed the same as steel can't to an extent um, so you're pushing something like that with Im immense pressure down a smooth bore barrel and that's why chokes the regulation on steel is you have to have a half choke at a maximum or less than that so quarter choke cylinder even and anything greater than that it bulges the barrel and that's because you're pushing it's not the shot itself that causes the problem it's the wadding so if effectively you're pushing that down a tube which is pretty much like a piston so any dent in the barrel any constriction in the barrel in any way shape or form will bulge or split the tube and that's what happens with steel also when you come to steel there's very little available if anything in smaller gauges so 28 gauge uh, 410 16 there's I don't think there's anything um, there is stuff available for 20 but it still has the same problem all right um, and the actual projectile itself is not great because it doesn't deform upon impact it's a lot lighter than lead so you have to give it more welly to, to get it moving uh, anywhere like lead uh, and it doesn't deform upon impact so it doesn't transfer the kinetic energy built up in the projectile to kill the quarry so that's the alternatives on the market now what we've done as, uh, as gun makers is, um, uh, is come up with uh, myself and two other colleagues have come up with something we've called Autonium now Autonium is a blend of several elements um, and it's available in varying mixes various densities um, that would suit varying applications from a 500 Nitro Express bullet all the way through down to shot size 8 in a shotgun cartridge with Hortonium will suit that application and the reason it suits that application is it's dense so it's about 10% lighter than lead so you have to increase the size of the projectile slightly to have the same effect as lead um, and then the other thing is with it is it deforms upon impact it stays intact and transfers the kinetic energy built up um, in the in the projectile itself into any quarry so it works exactly like lead it can be loaded in any um, in any caliber you can you can think of um, so if you want a um, 410 cartridge with autonium fine so we believe autonium is the is the answer We've had some great feedback from manufacturers and we're meeting those over the, over the coming weeks. We've also had some great feedback from um, our social media followers, followers. The one thing it all comes down to is price. Now unfortunately for, for me and everyone who shoots, lead is as cheap as water. So there's nothing that will compete with it. So Autonium should, should fall in to around about 10% cheaper than um, bismuth however it won't be as cheap as steel but you won't have to have daft wads and lots of propellant um, or damage your gun even uh, so that, so it has a it's one of those you, you, you pay your money you take your choice um, but I just thought I'd um, do this short video instead of writing, writing war and peace I'll put some of the regulations that the proof um, stipulate on the cartridges on the website and um, yeah feel free to drop us a message if you have any questions um, or comment on our social media. Thanks for listening. Cheers. Bye-bye.